Jiva, last minute you remember, I will share that video. Oh. I brought a pen drive, no? Sir, after X-ray, what is that X-ray? You not came, huh? After X-ray, 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 X-ray. After X-ray, why are you? Atoms I started, I think. Sir, Atom was not there in the reaching of it. Bohr theory means atom only. They are not mentioning chapter name. Bohr's theory means atoms only. Atoms who entered yesterday. Atoms you stepped in. How many bells are you? Okay. In text me, I will send the recording yesterday. Record. Okay. Huh? I think started uh, over 95% over. Small chapter only. I think uh, Bohr's theory, I have to explain. After that, uh, Coming Monday to syllabus. Test portion over. Test portion over, na? So uh, teaching syllabus. About this. <laughs> so nuclear reaction and radioactivity. Hmm. Now, a ten... Bohr's theory is there, na? A test syllabus. I will show. This is only atoms. Bohr's theory is there, no? Oh, I see that. that is the atom started. Narayana schedule, they won't follow chapter wise. I, your IAT point of view, important topic. Only IAT content only they will mention. Enough. Board everything uh, not required. This is only a study thing, I think. No. This is a Bohr's theory. Mostly slow over. Huh? The Bohr's theory. I will send the recording once. Text me. You go through it. Who missed that yesterday topic? Uh, text me. I will send the recording. Uh.
okay so now today we will continue bohr's theory only some important terms this is not forgot stand Okay, so sorry. Okay, once again, very good afternoon. We'll extend the discussion of the Bohr's theory. So, <clears throat> yesterday, students, for example, as I told you. If you take any atom, according to Bohr first postulate, atom is in the spherical shape, right? At the center, 99.99% of the mass located at the center, that is so-called nucleus. What is the charge of the nucleus? Plus Z into E. Z is nothing but number of protons. Charge of every proton is plus E. Just imagine one electron revolving in the which orbit? What the name of the orbit? Nth orbit. Is my point clear? Huh? Let's say the radius of the nth orbit, how much? Rn. With what speed it is revolving? Kindly respond Vn. Correct or not? Yeah. Tell me what a time period of this electron. I'm requesting all what a time period of this electron time period means what strengths distance uh, distance completed in one revolution by velocity of the electron in the nth orbit but the distance covered in nth orbit one revolution completed means it swept 2 pi rn so i can write 2 pi rn divided by vn so that is the time period of the electron in the nth orbit. How much? 2 pi Rn whole divided by Vn. Instead, I told the uh, radius of the nth orbit formula. Some n square, h square. Rn value, how much? Here, it is there. Correct or not? n square, h square, epsilon naught divided by 
pi m into z d square. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here you should not take like that. N square, h square, epsilon naught, whole divided by how much? Pi into m into z e square. Say yes or no? Understood everyone? Then what about the velocity of the electron in the nth orbit? I'm requesting all to remember at your fingertips, radius of the electron in the nth orbit. Why? Because actually what I'm trying to say within one minute, you'll understand this relations why I'm writing. What is the velocity of the electron in the nth orbit? That also we got now. Z e square by 2n h epsilon naught. What is that? Z e square whole divided by 2n h epsilon naught. As a as Jiva was saying, only which is important mm -hmm. radius of the nth orbit is directly proportional to n square by z. These relations compulsory you have to remember. What about the velocity of the electron in the nth orbit? It depends on the directly proportional to z by n only. Okay, at least if you forget this, these relations you should not forget. Direct questions will come on this z and n and relations. So now if you substitute what a time period of the electron in the nth orbit? n square, tn is proportional to n square by z to whole divided by z by n. So time period of the electron in the nth orbit, how much? n cube whole divided by z square. This is the time period of the electron in the nth orbit, how much? n cube divided by z square. This is the, this one. I'm requesting all to remember in your photographic memory. Now let me introduce immediately frequency of the electron in the nth orbit. What a frequency concept tell me? Frequency of an electron revolving in which orbit? Revolving in which orbit? Nth orbit. What a frequency of the electron in the nth orbit equal to? 1 by time period of the electron in the nth orbit. No? Kindly say yes or no. So substitute here. So what a frequency of the electron in the nth orbit is proportional to time period value substitute here. So n cube by z square. So I could write frequency of the electron in the nth orbit how much proportional to z square by n cube. I hope you all understood very well. These relations, these two relations if you remember, no? So definitely you can have the skill to deduce any kind of relation or else memorize. Okay. Now immediately, what is the, any electron revolving in the nth orbit, it is acting like a circular current carrying coil, no? Kindly say yes or no. I will call this orbit as a circular current carrying coil. Do you have any problem, huh? Electron is revolving in the anti-clockwise direction means that the current wire having the direction clockwise only, no? Because electron is moving anti-clockwise means positive charge is moving in the clockwise. Direction of the current and direction of the positive charge both are same only, no? So there is nothing wrong in it. Any electron revolving in the nth orbit, less or more, it will contribute some current. So my question is, what is the current contributed in the current in nth orbit? How much? What is the formula for this current in the nth orbit? Who will tell the formula for current? Total charge by time taken. Only one electron is there, no? So charge of the electron is E. What is time taken to complete uh, one revolution? Here just now I found n cube by z square. n cube divided by z square proportional relation I will use. So the current uh, uh, contributed by this electron in the nth orbit is what proportional to z square by n cube. Sir, then how can you use this formula? If they have given I value. I value. No, sir, if they have, sir, no, no, they won't ask. They won't ask. 
how they will ask uh, no one knows but uh, this relations are important for example how if you give the they will ask option one current is proportional to z four proportional to z power three by two uh, uh, not depending on n like that they will give okay. if you have the knowledge about this relation only you can answer no so that's what I'm explaining these relations. I'm strongly telling this, this relations are very important. Understood? No, I want only current, uh, sir. No, nothing, no compromise means this proportional symbol you have to remove. Proportional constant also you have to add. Is my point clear? Understood? Okay. Now. Orbital is the orbital. More than one electron. In the you are saying one orbital more than one electron. Huh? Just put two, two into e. Ten electron means put ten. Simple thing, no. Some are revolving anti-clockwise, some are revolving clockwise means two are revolving anti-clockwise means put plus two e. Some are three are revolving in anti clockwise means minus three, like that you should put. Put in cha. Understood? Mm -hmm. Very simple. Shall Very. Shall we enter this type of position? Huh? Shall we enter this type of position? How huh, we can expect? Just now you accepted nothing wrong, sir. I told electron revolving in the nth orbit acting like a current carrying coil. You did not say objection. No? Means at the center it will produce some magnetic field. No? So what is the magnetic field due to this orbit? Magnetic field due to orbit. How much? This orbit is similar to Current carrying coil containing how much current? I n amperes of current is flowing. But radius of the nth orbit? R n. But a magnetic field, it will produce magnetic field or not? Yes, At the center. In which direction it is producing? Inwards only, no? Yes, Keep your thumb in the direction of the current. Bring the curled fingers at center. Going inside only, no? Correct or not? What is the formula of magnetic field due to circular current carrying coil at the center? B is equal to mu naught by 2 pi into I n into I n by R n. Say sir no. Circular coil. Circular coil. So pi will not come. Sorry. Very good. Understood. This is the formula. Na? Circular current carrying coil, center magnetic field. This formula only no. Say sir no. Put I n value, how much B is proportional to I n by R n. But Jiva, not convincing. Huh? Sir, mu naught I n, I into R by R square plus That is the axial point. Okay, okay it is the axial point, no? An axial point is a mu naught I into capital R square by 2 into R square plus X square for. I asked you magnetic field at the center only. Okay. Due to that circular orbit, Magnetic field at the center only, I asked you. Good evening. Good afternoon, Venkatesh and Dharne. Am I audible? Huh? Say hello. Say hello. I couldn't hear anything. Kafuda. Say hello, Dharne. Hello, sir. Venkatesh, say hello. Hello, sir. Okay. Say hi once. Joke, joke, don't tell. Okay. So, substitute IN value, how much? So, magnetic field contributed by the electron in the nth orbit, how much? IN relation we found now. Z square by N cube. Kindly say yes or no. What is the radius of the electron in the nth orbit? Very good. N square by Z. So magnetic field due to electron in the nth orbit, how much? 
z square into z how much proportional z cube whole divided by n power 5 Current current is equal to z square e by m2. Not understood. Current equal to? Okay. Current proportion relational is substituted. Okay. Okay. Tell me what are kinetic energy of the electron revolving in the nth orbit? K z e square by 2rn. What a potential energy of the electron in the nth orbit? Minus kz e square divided by 2rn. Sir, hmm. one thing rn will become 2rn will not come. Potential Sorry, energy. potential energy 2 will not come. Uh, but total energy of the electron in the nth orbit? Minus kinetic energy, energy plus yeah. potential energy. Substitute this one plus this one how much? Minus. 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 by 2 into k into z e square divided by r n. This is the total energy of the electron in the nth orbit. Okay. Anything missing up? Both theory. Frequency over time period over magnetic field over hmm, magnetic moment. As I told you, it is acting like a Magnet only, no? Every current carrying coil acting like a magnetic dipole only, no? Please kindly say yes or no. Yes. So it has some magnetic moment or dipole moment also, no? So tell me what a magnetic moment? Magnetic or dipole moment? Who will tell formula for magnetic moment or dipole moment? Yes. Yes. Current yes. into area yes. of cross section. Current of the electron in the nth orbit into area of the cross section in the nth orbit. Only we are analyzing only proportional relations only. Na? What is the current contributed by that electron in the nth orbit? This only. Na? Very good. Z square divided by n cube into what area of the cross section of the pi r n square. Pi is a constant only. Na? In the proportion relation everything is gone. So, z square by n cube. What the radius of the electron in the nth orbit? n square by z, no. Radius of the electron in the nth orbit? 0.53 into n square by z angstrom. So, <coughs> n square by z whole square. So, magnetic moment of the electron in the nth orbit is proportional to what here? z square n power 4 divided by n cube into z square. Z square, Z square cancels out. So, magnetic moment uh, of the electron in the nth orbit is proportional to what? Only n. It not depending on the atomic number. It only depends on the number of orbital or number of shell. Is my point clear? Okay, so that is all about the Bohr's theory. So, atoms also over. Now, very immediately, next chapter is nuclei. What is the concept of nuclear students? Inside the atom, according to Bohr's experiment, what is the Rutherford gold foil experiment? Tell me. Alpha scattering experiment. Rutherford gold foil alpha scattering experiment or Geiger Marsden experiment. All are same only. If you take any, what is the purpose of that gold foil experiment? Rutherford taken one very thin sheet uh, for finding pattern of electrons, what is inside atom. Now we are knowing everything because of this experiment. At the center, 99.99% of the mass is accommodated at the center. We are calling it as nucleus. Remaining 99% of the region inside the atom is hollow. And electrons are revolving in the circular orbit. How we know? Because of this experiment. Earlier, uh, no one knows what is atom. 
that's what he has taken the thin sheet thin sheet is nothing but almost all equal to diameter of the atom only no this is one thin sheet what he did rutherford he bombarded uh, some alpha particle bombarding means what some alpha particle sir he bombarded onto this gold foil what he analyzed that 99 percentage of the alpha particles are coming out of the gold foil students this uh, point of observation concluded that 99 percentage of the atom is hollow yes. part or empty and uh, out of transmitted alpha particles many are distracted like this means why the distraction taking place means definitely this alpha particle means positive charge only na alpha is nothing but what helium nucleus helium nucleus in the sense it has two proton numbers and four mass number i mean four nucleons are there what a charge of the alpha particle plus 2 into e because of the alpha particle positive charge after passing through the this thin gold foil many alpha particles are deviated their path meaning definitely inside the atom also positive charge should be there no when positive charge bombarding on another positive charge then only it will deviation taking place na yes, so like that uh, rutherford confirmed that understood at the center of the atom some positive charged portion is there he called it as a nucleus and also he noticed that some positive charges recoiled recoiled means in which path they came in the return path they gone meaning he confirmed that inside the atom exactly at the center nucleus will be residing so these are the conclusions of the uh, rutherford alpha scattering experiment if you see uh, for example one important topic your exam point of view closest distance of approach closest distance of approach for suppose uh, for the uh, good visibility this is a uh, one gold atom what atom gold. gold atom or gold nucleus what a charge of this nucleus is positive is my point clear for suppose if this alpha particle tell me what a charge of the alpha particle plus 2 into e what is the charge of this nucleus gold atomic number 79 in 79 into e but anyway theoretical discussion na so z into e i will write so the charge of the bombarding alpha particle is q1 and this is q2 with what speed i projected towards the gold nucleus let's say with some speed v meters per second correct or not after heading towards its center it will experience a tremendous repulsion force because like charges repels each other na no? means after traveling some distance what happened its kinetic energy become zero again in which path it comes in the same path it will be going back so the distance between the center of the nucleus and this alpha particle where it come to rest is nothing but what closest distance of approach or d is nothing but closest distance of approach if you see from between point a and point b loss of kinetic energy is nothing but gain of potential energy you know there is no collision between alpha particle and gold nucleus no friction no friction means is there any wastage of energy so no loss of energy no gain of energy so i can write one statement by using conservation of energy by using by using which energy 
conservation of energy by using conservation of energy what i can write loss of kinetic energy equal to how much here gain of potential energy tell me what a loss of kinetic energy half mv square only lost no this uh, alpha particle fully lost its energy na and how much uh, gain in potential energy who will tell potential energy of the formula k q1 q2 by d no the distance between the initially i projected the alpha particle from very greatest distance infinity distance okay so i can write half mv square equal to k into q1 value how much what a charge of the positive alpha particle e. very good 2e what is the charge of the golden nucleus z into e d is nothing but closest distance of approach no so i can write m into v square by 2 equal to 2 into k into z into e square divided by d so what is this d value is nothing but least distance of approach d is equal to nothing but 2k 2 2s are how much 4k z d e square divided by m into v square this is called closest distance of approach now nuclei nucleus what is a if you see the nucleus according to this rutherford gold foil experiment what is the shape of this nucleus it is also spherical in shape okay and uh, inside the nucleus what are the major things are residing protons and uh, neutrons many particles are there but the major mass contributing particles are protons and neutrons other than them many particles are there electrons are there but the electrons inside the nucleons you should not call electron beta particle you have to call understood that electron is outside the nucleus mean you have to call free electron or electron but the same electron which is in the state of rest inside the nucleus is called what here beta particle and uh, the electron which is in the positive charge is called positron or beta positive particle understood both are features are same but uh, uh, you should not call as electron electron means what compulsory it should revolve in the circular orbit outside the nucleus are understanding lot many particles are there inside the nucleus beside proton and uh, neutron many are there electrons are there positrons are there mesons bosons pi ions k ions god particle boson is uh, discovered by our indian scientist only bos so it was named as a boson okay meson also pi meson k meson again many types of particles hundreds of different particles are there but why we won't discuss them they do not contribute that much mass major energy contributing major mass contributing particles are this protons and neutrons only if you see any one of the nucleus x how it will be denoted z and a what is z meaning atomic atomic number or number of protons or number of electrons inside the atom what is a meaning mass number mass number means number of nucleons or you can also call it as mass number also for example if you take a helium nucleus or beta particle how many protons are there two protons are there two neutrons are there correct or not so that's what its mass number is four and uh, uh atomic number is what here two if you take a uranium nucleus from this uranium nucleus only we will produce the nuclear energy 
what is atomic number 92 and 238 means in the uranium nucleus how many protons are there number of protons are 92 number of neutrons how many 238 minus 92 how many number of nucleons are there proton and neutron 238 238 uh, total number of protons and neutrons are there is my point clear so let me introduce the next type of uh, category types of nucleus types of nucleus what is the first type of nucleus is isotope in the name only is there iso means what same Topi means what? Proton. I mean the two nucleus which are having same number of proton. Means same atomic number only. No? This means this kind of nucleus is having same atomic number but different mass number. Watch this. 1H1, 1H2, what is these are isotopes or isotones? Isotope. This hydrogen, this is hydrogen, it's atomic number one, it's atomic number also one. But this is called this is a proton. Na? One H1 means proton only, na, students. One H2 means what? Deuteron or deuterium. This is what? Triterium. Understood? All are having the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons are there. Understood? So, such type of nucleus are called isotopes. Okay. Very immediately, second one is isotone. Or first isobar I will take. Iso means what? Same. Bar means what? Pressure. When nucleus is having more pressure, less space, more number of nucleons are there. Na? Now you are having low pressure. Why? More space is there, less number of people are there. In this room, 200 children are there. More pressure. Na? Same space, but uh, more number of nucleons are there. I mean, uh, bar means what? Pressure. Means it is correlated to Number of nucleons. Can you say yes or no? Means the thing which is having more mass number is having more pressure. Understanding? Huh? So, how will you define isobar? Same mass number but different uh, atomic number. Same mass number means what, friends? Same pressure they will experience. That is containing 100 nucleons. This is also containing 100 nucleons. So, they will experience same amount of pressure. Understood or not understood? So, if you take for example, you see this. Uh, helium 2,4. Beryllium also 3,4. Have you noticed? Hydrogen, helium, beryllium only, no? Atomic number three, what? Berylama. Sorry, lithium. Okay. Lithium three and four. Means, watch this nucleus. They have the same mass number, no? Same bar, same pressure, but different uh, atomic numbers are there. Correct or not? So, the two nucleus which are having same mass number is called isobars. Understood or not understood? Next one, isotone. In the name itself, it is there. Iso means what? Same. Tone means what? Same. Neutron number. Right or not? For example, watch this. Uh, if you take hydrogen, one, two, you take, and uh, helium, two, three, you take. Watch this two nucle uh, nuclei. What is the common thing? This is having one neutron. This is also having one neutron. 
So you can call these are isotones. Says or no? Okay. So the two nucleus are more than two nucleus which are having same number of neutrons is called what here isotones. Okay. So now we will go inside the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, world is entirely different. Students, you may feel completely different here hereafter. Now, if you nucleus, for example, uh, you take any nucleus, nucleus of mass number A and atomic number Z. I want to calculate the radius of this nucleus. So the radius of the nucleus is formula is R naught into A power 1 by 3 students. This is the experimental observation. Understood? What is R naught value? What? 1.3 femtometer. What is R naught value? 1.3 into femto means what 10 power minus 15 meter. Okay, means the radius of the nucleus only femto or fermi same only. Understood. I should call strictly fermi only. Huh? Rule is there. Huh? Tell me no no wrong one. Tell me I will call. Fermometer means femtometer same only. Understood. Huh? What is the doubt? Huh? Fermi femto different. Huh? No, no, no. I don't know. I am thinking same only. Correct me. I, I may do mistakes. No problem. I am not a perfect guy like you. Tell me Fermi femto same only. Are you understanding? Huh? Okay, it's the very smallest device. No? Generally, atoms are measured in angstroms. An angstrom equal to how many meter? 10 power minus 10 meter. Nucleus is very much smaller. No? Mm. Understood. Okay, that's what it, it is uh, in the range of femtometer only, fermimeter only. Is my point clear? Huh? All nucleus order is in the range of 10 power minus 15 meter only. 2 femtometer, 10 femtometer, 100 femtometer like that. But atoms, when you are measuring, its radius is measured in 10 angstrom, 20 angstrom like that. Is the point clear? Huh? That is the concept of angstrom and femto. Uh, 10 power minus 10 meter. And one femtometer means what? 10 power minus 15 meter. Okay. This trick you should remember. Milli, micro, Nano, pico, femto, atto, butto, no, next to, only micro, nano, pico, femto, atto, butto, no, butto only next to one, but I am not sure. Uh, uh, milli means what? 10 power minus 3. Micro means 10 power minus 3, 3 you have to add. Pico means nano means 10 power minus 9. Pico means 10 power minus 12. Femto means what? 10 power minus 15. Eto means 10 power minus 18. The point clear. Okay. So, uh, very crystal clearly, uh, radius of the nucleus is it depends on the nature of the substance. Nature. Atomic number not dist not depends no. Uh, it only depends on the mass number. Understood. I mean the two nuclei which are having equal mass number, they should have the same radius. Here a misunderstanding will come. Uranium is different. Uh, uh, hydrogen is different. Uh, helium is different. Both should not have the same nucleus. It is wrong. For example, this one H two is there. Uh, 1H3 is there and helium 2, 3 is there. Both are having this time same radius only. Why they have same radius? Mass they have the same mass number. No? Mm. Understood. Compulsory, the two or three nucleus which are having same 
mass number mean they must and should have the same radius so tell me what is the volume of the nucleus requesting you all what is the volume of nucleus 4 by 3 pi r cube so put the r value here r value how much r not into a power 1 by 3 whole power cube so volume is how much 4 by 3 into pi into r not cube a. and into a so i will keep as said equation number 1 as i told you what are the major contributors of masses inside the nucleus kindly respond protons and uh, neutrons says or no and uh, there is no guarantee that uh, number of protons should be equal to number of neutron no such rule is there maybe sometimes uh, equal sometimes neutrons are more than most of the cases number of neutrons are very much more only is my point clear up so i'll assume mass of the proton equal to mass of the neutron almost all same only comparing with the neutron mass of the proton slightly higher mass but that is negligible so what a mass value 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kg it is also called 1 amu one atomic mass unit one atomic mass unit means what if you convert into energy now oh. 1.00876 is proton neutron is 1.00782 something is there 72 i don't know i'm not sure anyway in the problem he will give you don't need to memorize that stuff they will give understood 100% they will give one atomic mass unit equal to how much 930 according to this is actually mass unit nucleus mass is not measured in kilogram mass of the proton equal to how much mass of the neutron how much what is the smallest unit to measure the mass amu one atomic mass unit but according to einstein uh, mass and energy equivalence theorem in our perspective we are common people mass is different and energy different no but einstein world is different Ma einstein point of view mass is exactly equal to energy in his perspective mass and energy both are not different both are same only so if you convert this one atomic mass unit into energy how many electron volts of energy will come very good 931.5 mega electron volt energy will come mega means what or million means what mega you can call million also you can call million means what 10 power 6 Electron volt means what? One point six into ten power minus nineteen joule students. This is the one atomic mass unit. Understood? Everyone, I am requesting to kindly remember this all results. Now, uh, tell me, uh, I will take any nucleus. I will take any nucleus. I will take uh, some nucleus X. its atomic number z and mass number a what is z meaning number of protons or number of electrons a means what students number of protons plus number of neutrons so number of neutron means what what number of neutron means mass number minus number of protons only na A minus Z is called number of neutron strands. Kindly say yes or no. Understood? I am asking you what the total mass of this nucleus. I am requesting all what the total mass of the nucleus. I am asking. What total mass of the nucleus? Tell me. Mass of the each nucleon into number of nucleons. Na. What the total number of nucleons? capital a only no what is the mass of each nucleon mn only na no? mn mean mass of each nucleon so what is the density of this density of the nucleus tell me ma <coughs> density of nucleus 
is how much mass by total volume na substitute here density is nothing but what total mass mass number into mass of each nucleus sorry each nucleon by uh, volume where i found here only no 4 by 3 pi into r not cube into capital a capital a capital a cancels out what density of the nucleus 3 into mass of the each nucleon by 4 into pi into how much r not cube mass of the every neutron proton constant r not also constant everything constant means uh, what i am trying to say density of every nucleus is constant whatever the nucleus is there uranium ah neptunium ah beryllium ah everything is having the same density that is a very very important note very very important note all nucleus all nuclei have same density Understood or not understood? So the density not depends on the here misunderstanding will come. Density will change from atom to atom, nuclear to nuclear. It is a totally misconception only wrong. It is independent. Now, uh, actually, small things only very dangerous students. If planet explodes, nothing will happen. But when nucleus explodes. Understood. One one gram. Trust me. One gram aluminum. One gram uranium nucleus exploded means once one country will collapse. Ah. One, uh, one gram. One gram. What are you thinking? How many uranium nucleus are there? One uranium nucleus only producing two hundred mega electron volt. How many? If you break one uranium nucleus, two hundred. Mega electron volt. One gram. How many uranium nucleus are there? Yeah. Uranium ninety to two thirty five, na? Ah. One mole. One mole. Mole concept, you know, no? One mole concept means what? One mole means two thirty five gram is there, na? One mole containing how many nuclei? Six point zero two three into ten power twenty. Ten power twenty three. Correct or not? How many nucleus are there? So two thirty five grams containing six point zero two three into ten power twenty three nucleus are there. Means one gram containing how many nucleus? So just imagine how many will come. Six point zero two three into ten power twenty three nucleus. So I am leaving for your imagination only. Missiles, how many are? This much only missile. Launcher is big. That uh, that uh, nucleus. This thing is this much only. Understood. They will send the during the I mean nuclear launching, nuclear missile launching. They will on the timer, on the timer when neutrons slowly bombarding the uranium nucleus. Once it is landed, no fusion, sorry, fission will start. I mean uranium nucleus split. One nucleus splitting means two thirty two hundred mega electron volt is coming means uh, almost all ten power twenty three uranium nucleus are splitting means you imagine for you I'm. That energy you only imagine. Our understanding, am clear, am okay. So uranium is very small amount is enough. Actually, uranium extraction is offense. Why? Because in the industrial manufacturing, uranium extraction, that radiation is entire. When you are extracting uranium itself, that land itself. Pollute water, air, everything will pollute. That people literally dies. Our understanding, okay? So uranium that much powerful in the extraction itself, lot of radiation will come. Yeah, then they are using it for power production. Power. 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 This only nuclear fission only. Positively they are using. Controlling. When you split to one, when you break uranium nucleus, you know. 200 mega electron volts of energy will release. Na, 
with that they will boil the water so you are saying it is it will harm that land itself means how they are producing it in the extraction in the extraction radiation will it is a radioactive element no hmm. that that is not that much easy underground water fully it will be radiator uranium nucleus is a radioactive element if hmm. you keep for some time it is over it is a decay process is continuous when you nucleus are escaping means very uh, simply they are not coming outside with a lot of kinetic energy only they will be coming outside so lot of radiation will be there so drink that uh, contaminated water means uh, over your body will be change your body also containing the radioactive elements cancers will come or understand it is a uh, illegal also or understanding uh? okay so actually you asked one doubt what is that power production uranium nucleus you will split uranium nucleus only danger you are breaking that nucleus mean that is more danger are you understanding ah okay when when you are splitting means when nucleons are coming outside earlier they tightly packed na with a very high pressure they tightly packed correct or not when neutrons are bombarding with the new nucleus they are coming out with a very greater amount of kinetic energy so called heat energy with that energy you will boil the water you will convert the water into steam that steam pumped to turbine when turbine will rotate turbine is connected to ac generated one coil will be placed in between two magnetic poles as it is rotating magnetic flux linked with the coil changing with respect to time according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction if magnetic field changing with the coil means current will produce that is the thing danger small only but very dangerous nucleus is the most deadliest that's what if third world war is coming means or understood okay all human beings will be gone only this mental kim is there understood all are if uh, russia one guy is there he is a vladimir putin all are psychopaths only enough 199 countries na not a big deal 199 nuclear missiles are enough 199 time if, if they press the button means gone each country gone understood ah for every president in front one nuclear missile yes, launching is there huh? Yeah, joke really joke to... joke uh, that is i think he saw the joke but actually in front of uh, american president uh, nuclear missile uh, launchers are there understood ah uh? why because uh, at any time they may get uh, threat from russia or china they will also attack in a emergency case no time to pass the instruction the president even <laughs> directly <laughs> take the decision understood ah uh? third world war is coming means over understood that's what uh, for russia ukraine no one is supporting i don't understand russia already warned na if you help to ukraine means uh, you forget america map we warned you know is it why because it dared already then uh, this uh, putin started means kim is there na kim two psychopaths are together means so rest is history rest in peace only Understood. So don't mess with the nucleus. It's very deadly too. Are you understanding? Ah, okay. Time over, ah. Yes, sir. Syllabus over. Not yes, schedule. Yes, sir. You are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.